Budget in hotel business. What is a budget? A budget is a plan, a financial plan. A budget is also prepared by persons and by families. Even a non-governmental, not-for-profit organization will have to make a budget. If we just understand why a family makes a budget, we might also understand why a company makes a budget. An average family has a fixed monthly income. Every month, there are regular expenses, which must be met. The family also has to save some money for emergencies and retirement. So, if they do not make a plan and spend money any way they like to, they might be in trouble soon. Budget is a tool for survival of the family in the short and long run. This explanation of a family budget gives us an idea why a company would also need to prepare a budget. The challenge for a company is that it does not have a regular fixed income, even though it does have fixed regular expenses. One of the biggest expense categories for a company is the monthly salaries and wages. This salary and wages is the fixed monthly income of families that we have just discussed before. If the company is not able to generate enough income for itself, how would it pay employee salaries? This, I hope, is sufficient to convince you about the importance of budget for a company. This should also highlight the value of companies for a country as the sources of employment and wealth creation. Budget for a company begins with planning for the income. Many people need to know about the financial status of business. Bankers and mortgage lenders, investors and stockholders, partners and board of directors, regulators and internal tax authority, employees and clients, family members. The budget acts as a ready reference against which the performance is compared. Companies use the term revenue in place of income. The term expense may also become replaced by cost. Let us begin our exploration of the budget process by looking first at the simple formula for profit. Revenue minus cost is equal to profit. I hope you realize that the revenue must be greater than the cost for the profit to be in positive figure. In case the cost is more than the revenue, the equation will turn into negative, meaning loss. If the family makes a budget for one month, then what about the budget time horizon for a company? With respect to time, a company will have three types of budget. Long-term budget for one to five years, operating budget for one year, and short-term budget for a week, a month, or a quarter. A quarter is equal to three months. For very large corporations, with huge expenses, the budget may be prepared for a daily examination of results. Another point is the mandatory reporting of results to the government, often monthly, that may compel a company to prepare monthly budgets. The budget process locks down monthly targets. To understand the use of budget, we also need to learn about the income statement. An income statement consists of three heads, already discussed before. Income or revenue, expenses or cost, profit or loss. Income statement is prepared after one business cycle is complete. The business cycle could be of one year, one quarter, one month, or one week. The income statement is the financial result of operating the business, which is then compared with the budget to examine whether the company was able to achieve its planned financial goals or not. That was a broad overview of the budget process. The budget is prepared before the beginning of the business cycle of each financial year. In India, the financial year begins on April 1st and ends on March 31st of the next year. The income statement is prepared after the completion of business cycle and then it is compared to the plan or budget to see if the company was successful. 
Now let us go into detailing of the budget process. The devil lies in detail. Budget is prepared by every single department, that is important financially. The head of each department, with support of his subordinates, is responsible, for making a budget, and presenting it, before the budget approval committee. Each manager has to justify the figures, shown in their budgets. This means that, a budget cannot be prepared, without thinking, calculating, or analyzing. If you were a manager, how would you prepare the budget? There are three techniques, of making a budget. Zero-based budget. Year-on-year -year budget. Revenue and cost, trend analysis-based prediction. What is a zero-based budget? Starting to make a budget, on a blank paper, is zero-based budgeting. That means preparing a budget, without having any past data, or records, as reference. Zero-based budgets are made, when a company begins its operations, for the first time, or when a new product is launched. However, it is interesting to note here, that even a company with a long business history, must do zero-based budgeting, sometimes. Why, we shall find out a bit later. Zero-based budgets are not guesswork. It is based on data from other hotels in the chain, industry-wide standard operating ratios, benchmarks, and operating data from a comparable property, supplied by experienced, expert managers, working now as independent consultants, on hire. Now let us look at a year-on-year -year budget. Year-on-year -year budget, is sometimes also known as, the markup method budget. A certain percentage is added, to the figures of last year, to decide on the budget, for the coming financial year. For example, the manager may decide to increase income, by 10%, over last year. This markup, has to be justified, before the budget approval committee. The markup method also has to account for, the national inflation rate, that causes the rates of everything, to go up. What is revenue? cost trend analysis, and prediction. This process requires of the manager, to analyze the past business data, for at least two to three years, to observe a trend, or a pattern. The pattern, or trend, could be of the five following types. The data shows no change. The data shows a continuous increase. The data shows a continuous decrease. The data is cyclic in nature. The data shows a haphazard pattern, with many ups and downs, but no repeating pattern. In case the data shows no change, over the last few years, we can predict it to continue, in same fashion, in future. Similar predictions can be made, for all types of trends, or patterns. This is how we can prepare a budget, with the help of trend analysis. Budget Strategies there are two strategies, that any business may follow. Top to down, is estimating revenue first. Bottom to up, is estimating expenses first. Which strategy is better, can be understood, by looking at the idea of controllable, and non-controllable variables, factors, or things. For any business, the revenue is always uncontrollable, because the business has no monopoly control over the market forces, and circumstances. On the other hand, the costs of doing business, are very much under the control, of the business managers. That is why the bottom-up method is always considered safer. That brings us to the concept of another two types of budget. Flexible. Fixed. The revenue estimates are never certain, and may differ from what we expect. That is why a revenue estimate, will have, at least two levels of sales forecast. Best case scenario. Worst case scenario. It is this uncertainty, which makes revenue, or sales budget, flexible. Costs are always shown, as a percent of revenue, for example, labor cost, as 50% of revenue, food cost, 
as 23% of revenue, etc. The managers can keep the cost under control, by different ways and means, and therefore, the cost estimates are fixed, as a percent, of whatever the revenue forecast may be. It would help us to note that there are three categories into which, costs are divided. Direct or variable cost. Fixed or invariable cost. Semi-variable cost, that has the combined characteristics, of some part fixed, and the other part variable. Examples of variable costs are, material cost, cost of sales, taxes, maintenance etc. These costs are directly proportional, to sale of the products and services. Example of fixed costs are rent, insurance premium, interest on loans, salaries etc. These costs are not affected by sales. This fixed cost is used, to calculate a very important operating metric, break-even point. Semi-variable cost is partly fixed, and partly affected by sales. Electricity, heating, wages are examples of semi-variable expenses. Let us also get a grip on the concept of break-even point. Simply speaking, it is that volume of revenue, or sale, at which the business makes neither profit, nor loss. The formula for break-even point is Fixed cost, divided by, gross profit percent. Gross profit percent is calculated as shown under Revenue minus direct expenses equals gross operating profit gross operating profit divided by revenue and the result multiplied by 100 gives us gross profit percent the level of sales that generates surplus money enough to cover the fixed costs is the break-even point now we shall discuss another way of looking at the types of budget production or operating budget Sales budget, master or annual budget, capital budget, production, or operating budget, is made by one department, division, function, or program. Often, broken into quarterly, and monthly budget, all the departmental budgets are combined, to prepare the master annual budget, for the whole organization. Hotels also prepare daily budgets, for a strict control over the operations. Sales budget is the part of the operating budget, and consists of sales, or revenue forecasts, and related direct expenses. Master budget, is a combined budget, of the different departments, but not without discussion, arguments, analysis, justification, and approval, of the important shareholders in business. What I wish to point out is that, a manager has to work, according to the expectations of the investors, and earning a handsome return on investment, is a main responsibility. This is how business targets keep increasing every year. That is why costs are not allowed to constantly increase, along with sales. A rule of thumb is that, if a business is not growing, then it is dying. Increasing revenue, decreasing expenses, and maximizing profit, is at the heart of every business. Capital budget is about keeping a certain amount of money, for future major purchases, like land, machine etc. A budget also keeps aside, a certain amount of money, for replacing the existing facilities, equipment, and furniture etc., called depreciation. An often controversial expense category, is the discretionary expenses, like legal fees, travel costs, entertainment account, HR hirings etc. This expense is often misused by managers, for personal gains, and hence, this category gets closely examined by the investors, as well as, government auditors, in the income statement. The budget helps in three ways. Planning of future goals. Assessing or examining actual results. Control of operations, and timely managerial decisions. Planning tool, budget, I read somewhere, is like the global positioning system of a car. Before you start the journey, you set your destination. The GPS keeps telling you where you are, at any point in time, 
with regard to the destination. It also keeps you on the correct route. Budget is compared with results of the operations, to look for any differences, between the two, called as variance. Variance is the number difference, more or less, positive, or negative, between the budget, and the actual data. Revenue or Income Variance Analysis If actual revenue is more than the budgeted revenue, variance is favorable. If actual revenue is equal to budgeted, variance is zero and hence, normal. Lastly, if actual revenue is less than the budget, it is an unfavorable variance. Cost, or expenses variance analysis, is similar, but just the opposite, of revenue variance analysis. If actual cost or expenses, is greater than the budgeted cost, it is an unfavorable variance. When actual cost is equal to budget, the variance is zero, hence considered normal. Finally, if actual cost is less than the budget, it is considered favorable to business. The variance in a hotel, is recorded on a daily basis, in two ways. Variance today. Variance to date. Variance today, is the difference between the budget target, and actual result, for any particular date, from April 1st to March 31st. Variance to date, is the accumulation, or sum total, of the numerical values, of all the variances, from April 1st, till that particular date. Positive and negative values of variances, will cancel each other out. The variance is an indication of the accuracy of budget planners. However, variance analysis is not a simple story. It is possible, that a manager may not want to look foolish, by reporting abnormal variances. That would motivate the manager to plan a very safe budget. But, market is never constant, and budget needs to have the wisdom, of keeping track of market changes, and not be embarrassed by sudden changes. I would like to conclude this presentation, by highlighting, the benefits of the budget process. Budget forces all managers, to take a step back, from their routine life, and look at the future prospects. As budget is a team effort, duplication of responsibilities can be noticed, and eliminated. It forces managers to communicate, with each other, in an open forum, and it resolves interdepartmental conflicts, with the help of the senior management and owners, investors etc. The best practices, for running a department, gets shared between all, and helps everyone learn from each other. It is a great team building exercise. It provides clear, measurable standards, for efficiency in operations. These standards help to evaluate the performance of each department, in comparison with other departments. Promotions may be granted, to the best performers, without any disputes. Achieving targets, for progress in career, can be a great motivating force. Budget process also helps to identify the constraints, or limitations, in the way of achieving the planned goals. Special Ideas in Budgeting Process Some methods of budgeting, like year-on-year, -year, markup method, or spotting the trend in data, can become habit-forming. Budget becomes a routine, and the business gets into a rut, unaware of major changes, taking place in the external business environment. That is why, after three to five years, a company must adopt the zero-based budgeting, to have a fresh look at the future. The discretionary expense category must be closely watched, and minimized. The budget, after review at regular intervals, must be revised, in case a major variance is seen, in either revenue, or cost. The operating ratios, industry benchmarks, and data of the competitive set, give a sure indication, of the health of the business. Budget also has these operating ratios, as targets, like occupancy percent, ADR, REV PAR etc., to measure and monitor. The cost, if it keeps increasing, just like revenue, is not liked by the owners, 
and investors. Budget must streamline costs, and make sure that it flattens, relative to the rise in revenue. A budget may also include a utilization factor. It is similar to the concept of potential, and actual results, of yield management. Potential of a hotel, is its maximum earning capacity, and utilization factor, is the fraction of that full potential, that the business is actually able to earn. It is a measure of the efficiency, in utilization of resources. Unused resources, are as bad as losses. The money, if invested in bank, would have definitely earned some interest income.